Strap on your adult diapers, ladies and gentlemen, because I have a conspiracy so big, it's going to make you crap your pants. Right here on Conspiracy Cinema. Hey, get off my lawn, you little bastards! For years, we have banished them to the fringes of art houses and character roles, or replaced them with Eddie Murphy and old age makeup. I ain't never heard no woman giving no man no love just cause his hair look good. That's right. Ignored and alienated by Hollywood, old people have grown so sick and tired of Hollywood's potty mouth, pornographic, filthy, violent, brave worldview that they have stopped going to the movies. I'm as mad as hell and I'm not gonna take this anymore! And I know what you YouTubers are thinking, so f what? Who gives a f sh that your asshole grandpa hasn't seen a shitty movie in 20 f years? <laughs> Old people, they've fallen, but this time they are getting back up. And now they mean business, and I mean serious box office business. Inside sources have told me that five of the most powerful senior citizen actors have just taken over the five major Hollywood studios in a massive hostile takeover of the movie industry. This cabal of acting legends includes De Niro, Willis, Eastwood, Schwarzenegger, and Gandalf. Hey, don't make them like that anymore. Robert De Niro, at age 70, has seven releases coming in 2014. In comparison, young whippersnapper Ryan Gosling only has one. De Niro has well over 80 starring roles and has made more than $250 million. What has he been saving all that money for? Buying up Tribeca? Nope. Been there, done that. It's front money for a Teamsters loan. He's a shark now with the cash and credit to clean Paramount's clock. With the help of Joe Pesci, Marty Scorsese, and Meryl Streep, he's bought Paramount out so fast they barely knew what hit him. You got nothing in court, you don't got the bookkeeper, you got nothing. Where does he get all this energy from? Must find out if De Niro found the cocoon swimming. I feel tremendous. I'm ready to take all the world. Oh! That would explain the disappearance of Steve Gutenberg I was researching in 2002. Sorry if you missed these films at your local multiplex, but you're not alone. The previously unemployable straight-to-video action star Willis mortgaged the state of Montana to secure the ailing studio which was caught in the grips of financial meltdown brought on by Hansel and Gretel witch hunters. You shut up. Don't adjust your monitor. You are seeing dead people, folks. Bruce Willis has Red 3 coming out in 2015, along with the wife beater sporting, cane-wielding John McClane in Die Hard 6. yippee ki -yay, mother scratcher. M. Night Shyamalan is reported to be courting Willis and his money for signs... and The Sixth Sense 2. M. Night eerily seems to be at the center of many of Hollywood's most troubling chapters. Is Indian money behind Shyamalan's seemingly unstoppable descent into the abyss? Investigate. What? No. What? 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 No. What? 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 Gandalf the Green has cast a powerful spell over mega billionaire Rupert Murdoch and is taking over 20th Century Fox. He is greenlit the best exotic marigold hotel 2 3D. You will be able to explore the mysteries of Kama Sutra with Dame Judi Dench, every inch and glistening crevice of her body in glorious 3D. Be sure to ask for the active Dolby 3D glasses for this one. Dame Judi, who plays James Bond's boss M, will help relaunch the Bond franchise with 86-year-old Roger Moore 